In college, you have a lot to worry about. School, homework, uh, like social life, everything. So squeezing in four hours a night just to walk around, that sounds like darn near a waste of time. So when I leave the frat house, um, I just like go wherever I feel like going, honestly. For Purdue junior Aaron Lai, this trek he makes daily isn't to burn off a freshman 15 or to clear his head after an evening of studying. This walk is for someone he didn't know, but felt like he did. Just like the rest of the world, he was inspired by former Purdue student Tyler Trent's battle with cancer and Tyler's faith and resiliency battling the disease. I'm really excited for this. Um, for at least for now. Well, now was two weeks ago. It's Sunday, February 17th, 7 a.m. at the Delta Chi Fraternity House. The Boilermaker men's basketball team plays Indiana Tuesday night, and Aaron Lai is going to be there. Not by car, not by bus, but the long way round, 100 miles on his own two feet. We're all here for him. We're all backing him up. Aaron's goal is to raise $10,000 for Tyler Trent's Purdue Center for Cancer Research Endowment. So with a belly full of oatmeal and a good night's sleep under his six layers of clothes, his brothers sent him off to do just that. The first steps on a two and a half day trek to Assembly Hall. It's going to be a really long journey and my feet are going to hurt, but in the end it's to like benefit someone else. Purdue um, pride is a big part of it because we always try to help each other out. Incredible optimism to start. My grandfather, um, he had lung cancer and uh, whenever uh, like our family like, needed help or anything, he'd always be there in spite of having like a really late stage uh, form of, of cancer. It was like he never had a disease at all. Yeah. yeah. That's where the whole idea began. Aaron wasn't just able to relate to Tyler Trent's story, he was fascinated by it. And through the wrong turns, this way actually, this way. <laughs> and Indiana weather, Tyler is his guiding light. It really motivates me to like keep walking. I'm pretty sure um, once I get further into my walk, uh, I'll be feeling maybe like tired or whatever, but just like having him in my thoughts is going to motivate me to keep going. Aaron is from Detroit, so he knows snow and cold. He had prepared for it, but hoped it wouldn't come. Well, it did, and a lot of it too. Oh, my like, face is kind of cold, yeah. But the snow kept falling and he kept walking step by step to a finish line, literally miles and miles away. Meanwhile, back at the frat house, the reinforcements are loading up. Aaron's brothers are rotating to bring him food, water, and dry shoes. Every four or five hours, we have someone new, like, go drop off supplies. <laughs> we were the first people he, like, approached, and honestly, none of us thought he could do it. And driving the same path he was walking, they began to see a dot on the horizon. The reunion was short-lived. A quick banana, a change of clothes, a thankful handshake, and he was off. At this point, it was time for the TV cameras to quit stopping him. Aaron would trek more than 80 miles by the time we saw him next, making overnight stops in New Market and Cloverdale. He would meet all kinds of Hoosiers wanting to meet the kid walking for Tyler. Every time uh, someone comes up to me and stops me, I'm always so appreciative because it, it just motivates me to uh, uh, press on. About five hours from tip off, we caught up with him again. He was in Spencer, about 17 miles out. Time was ticking. So I've been running uh, and walking, uh, in between, um, just cycling between running and walking to uh, make it at 6 p.m. Uh, at the rate I'm going, I should definitely be there. But if I was just walking, I would definitely not make it. Aaron would finish the home stretch in just four hours, strolling into assembly around 6 p.m. And there to greet him, Tyler's parents, the first time they had met. Brought us to tears. Gosh, what an incredible young man to, you know, sacrifice three days of his life to walk 100 miles. Well, up, buddy. What I love is I feel like it's that same spirit Tyler had, like in the face of adversity. You're going to persevere, and you're going to keep going, and you're going to smile. It's so great to be finally done, um, and especially meeting uh, Tyler Trent's parents. It's such an honor to do this for them, and just finally meeting them after like a month of exchanging me messages and support and love. Like it's honestly a blessing to finally meet them. In Bloomington, Trevor Peters, News 18.